is an absolutely gorgeous day today to ride a bike. These are the last days of summer. In like two short months, we're gonna have winter. I'm gonna have to put away my bike in the fall. I don't wanna do that. It's funny, cause just like last time around the fifth library or so, I got like a boost of energy. And you find like cool places. And this is a really cool place. We're making good time, but I think it's about time that we finish this. Last week, I set out to bike to every public library in the city of Winnipeg, Manitoba. The idea was pretty simple. 115 kilometers round trip, hitting all 20 libraries along the way. Physically, I was confident I could do it, but mentally, that was a different challenge. I'm having a great time. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and we got a long way to go to the next one. It all started with the rain. There's something inherently miserable about it. Then came the roadblock. Kamut wants me to break the law. <laughs> I'd have to backtrack and ride the shoulder of a fairly busy road. Despite all that, I made it out and I got to meet some friendly geese. With my cell phone battery dying faster than I could ride, I took some time for lunch and reflected on the day. I realized it wasn't about the destination of libraries, but the adventure. The moments in between were what made it memorable. I managed to finish the day at Harvey Smith Library in the west end of Winnipeg with only a little bit of battery. So that brings us to today, Millennium Library, located in the heart of downtown Winnipeg. The weather is a crisp 20 degrees Celsius and the sky a deep shade of blue. It's another perfect day for an adventure. Good morning. Welcome to part number two of our tour to all the libraries in Winnipeg. Should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of people around once again, so it's gonna be awkward. Okay, let's get going. I didn't spend much time getting shots at the Millennium Library because it was pretty busy, and I was beginning to feel very self-aware. Luckily for me, the next stop was right around the corner and just over the bridge. All right, just in behind me here is the Bibliothèque Saint Boniface. This is stop number 12, or number two for today, and I just love this neighborhood. Have I mentioned yet just how lovely the weather was today? I think I have. I ended up just biking around the forks for a little bit, because why not? And then making a quick pit stop at the legislative grounds. I kind of got to thinking, like, these are the last days of summer. It's too bad, I mean, I'm gonna have to put away my bike in the fall, I don't want to do that. Certainly makes you appreciate summer while it's here. For those of us living in Winnipeg, you definitely know the feeling. Summer is all too short, and in just a few weeks, it's gonna be winter. All right. Number three for today, Cornish Library. Really old looking building and I like it. Very nice. I've never actually been to this library before. I didn't realize that there was one here, so it's right next door to the Misericordia Health Center. I had someone ask me the other day, why? Why do this? And to be honest, I didn't have an answer. All I know is that when I'm on a bike, riding around, it just makes sense. Like breathing or walking, it's just something that feels natural, and I can't quite describe it. This adventure is really just an excuse. An excuse to spend the day pedaling the peg. At this point, I was headed into St. James. And that meant residential streets. Not any old residential streets. Residential streets under flight paths. Only in St. James. That's pretty cool. And also pretty noisy. And the St. James Library, right there. Number 14, or four for the day. All right, on to the next one. That's right, 14 libraries, and that meant six more to go. So I'm sure you can imagine just how repetitive this was. Find a library, record myself, and then bike to the next one. All right, well, in behind me there is the Westwood Library. I think this ride particularly is the furthest one away from all the other ones. Before we go to the next one, I'm gonna find a little spot to have some lunch, because I'm getting hungry, so let's find a spot. Right next door to the Westwood Library is this old abandoned building. And at first, I didn't know what it was until I looked it up and found out that it was actually a former elementary school. Earlier this summer, the building was sold to a residential infill developer, and the plan is to build some low-density, bungalow-style condominiums. 
Apparently the building was closed back in 1986. And then more recently, it was one of the filming locations in the film Bring It On, Cheer or Die, released in 2022. At this point, we've got five more, library, five more libraries. The rest of them should be relatively easy. They're mostly on paths that I've ridden my bike on before. Probably gonna take off this sweater and then get a couple more miles in. So here we go. Another one checked off, number 16, the Charleswood Library. Let's head on to the next one. In order to get to the next library, we were about to embark on one of my favorite trails in all of Winnipeg, the Hart Trail. Six and a half kilometers of gravel path built atop an old railway bed. The path is intersected by half a dozen streets in the Charleswood area and is actually part of the Trans-Canada Trail. Beyond this six and a half kilometer stretch and past the perimeter highway, the trail turns into the 10 kilometer Headingley Grand Trunk Trail, which leads to Beaudry Park. Before long, we were back in the city and on paved paths. All right, there we are. Bill and Helen at Norrie Library, number 17. It's felt like I've been fighting a headwind the whole day, but that stretch of road, I gotta say, between Hart and where I am now on Sterling Lion, or just past Sterling Lion there. Wow, <laughs> that, was a, that was a windy one, and I'm glad that one's over with. Library. It's starting to become rush hour as well, and uh, well, you know what that means on Osborne. Traffic. South on Pemina, over there. Here we go. 20 libraries, 115 kilometers, two days. All right, well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Next adventure. I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.